going into this hurricane season. Experts who study these storms say they expected a few more than usual. Still, the number and the severity, one after another, clearly caught the scientific community off guard. Tony Busalacci oversees the National Center for Atmospheric Research, which works to better understand weather events like hurricanes at its Boulder, Colorado facilities. The whole area of hurricane research is right in our wheelhouse. Busalacci says better observations from weather satellites, aircraft, and radar, and supercomputers that now process billions of data points have combined to produce hurricane models that are much more accurate than a decade or two ago. And now with storms such as Irma, we've had good information about the formation and possible track of Irma out to more than 10 days. NCAR scientist Chris Davis says longer range hurricane forecasts are now possible and those hurricane tracks, so-called cones of uncertainty, have been cut in half, but... There are still cases that sneak up and surprise us. Hurricanes Harvey and Maria both intensified much more quickly than expected. What happened over the last couple of days has really illustrated the need for greater research on tropical storm intensification. Hurricane damage forecasts are also getting a fresh look. Right now, hurricanes are rated categories 1 through 5 according to wind speed. The cyclone damage potential index, which goes from 1 to 10, measures peak winds, the storm size, and duration. Hurricanes that stick around for a long time can really drive up losses compared to hurricanes that just zip through an area. NCAR's so we James Doan, who helped develop the index, the says that information is critical to, among others, insurance companies. Hurricanes have always been complex creatures, a product of the way the ocean and the air above interact. Well, that process is happening exactly where you have giant waves and foam and sea spray and howling winds, and it's very challenging to make measurements in that sort of environment. People like Davis continue to try to learn what makes these giant systems spin and how they're steered by the atmosphere. Uncertainty is always going to be with us at some level. Knowing that their work matters, especially to those who live within a storm's path. This is not some esoteric blue sky research. It really hits home. Hendrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.